So basically everything that I mentioned prior was my daytime routine. I kind of want to go into my nighttime routine. There's a lot of steps that I do for both of them that overlap. So I'm going to talk about the ones that are exclusive to nighttime and then just lightly touch on the ones that I mentioned earlier and how I incorporate them into my nighttime routine. The first step is the Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. I will say I just got this as my gratis maybe about two weeks ago, so I haven't used it that much, but I've been playing with the tester for quite some time because we've had it since September, and I really like how it melts off my makeup. I've always been partial to using a cleansing oil. I used to use the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil, and I also used to use just plain, um, coconut oil. I really like how simple and easy it is to melt off your makeup with an oil and just have it really dissolve and then take like a warm towel and just wipe off all the excess. Your skin still feels really clean but it doesn't feel like it's been stripped. This one has the exact same scent as the Midnight Recovery Concentrate and as I mentioned prior I love anything with lavender in it. I really like the fact that this product has that in it because I also feel like it helps me along with the Midnight Recovery Oil to kind of get into that like sleep mindset and it just kind of calms my nerves and soothes me and helps me go to sleep. So I really like this cleansing oil. I also like to do the Bioderma at night. So I'll go in with the cleansing oil, but then I'll use my micellar water after with the Shiseido cotton pad. And I'll take a couple of pumps and I'll run it all over my face. And that'll just help get rid of any residual eye makeup or, you know, if I have like a liquid lipstick on that day or anything like that that I feel isn't completely off or has maybe stained my lips or anything like that. I feel like this gets rid of every last trace of it. Are you still taking selfies? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. So the next product is just one that I, I feel like I used to use a lot in 2016, but I haven't been using it quite as frequently just because I have been using the cleansing oil and the micellar water. But this is the Sephora Eye Makeup Remover. This one takes off waterproof eye makeup, which is why I really love it. I feel like a lot of my products are budge proof and nothing takes them off like this one does. Same kind of concept as the micellar water or the cleansing oil. I'll take it on the Shiseido cotton pad and I'll run that over my eyes for maybe about like 10 seconds and it really dissolves everything. So I feel like, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I don't have any like leftover mascara flakes or eyeliner or anything like that and it just makes my skin feel that much cleaner. So I really like it for that reason. So this I'm just going to touch lightly on just because I mentioned it before, but I will use this toner after my cleansing routine to balance out the pH level and also to kind of give myself that tingling sensation because as I mentioned before, I'm very sensorial and I really like that sensation on my skin. The next two products are also ones I mentioned before that I kind of alternate on. I rarely ever exfoliate in the morning just because I feel like I always take care of it at night, but if I do exfoliate in the morning, it's always this one just because this is the scrub and this is meant to be used at night. So the Epidermal Retexturizing Microdermabrasion, also from Kiehl's, this is really nice if I feel like I have any dry patches or anything like that. I'll use this as I'm, you know, doing my cleansing routine in the morning or I'll use it in the shower and I notice that my makeup goes on so much smoother and so much more effortlessly. This one, as I mentioned before, I'll use it maybe three times a week and I'll alternate it with the Microdermabrasion Scrub. And I really feel like those two have helped resurface my skin so much and are the contributing factors as to why my skin is so texture free now as opposed to before. The next three products again are ones that I already mentioned but the Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. I use this day and night but I only use it on my neck and occasionally on my laugh lines. I do feel like it's really helped with the appearance of the lines on my neck so really love it for that reason. The Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution also from Kiehl's. As I mentioned before, really helps with the dark spots and any hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, anything like that. I just feel like you don't have to use that much. You only need about two, two to three drops for the entire face. But it feels really silky on the skin and so it's something that you can use day or night because if you're using it during the day, you can wear it under your makeup. And it smells awesome because it has white birch and peony in it. The Daily Reviving Oil and the Minette Recovery Oil are supposed to be kind of like the dynamic duo. This one is just my favorite. Again, has the lavender, the evening primrose, but it just really helps me go to sleep. And I notice that my skin feels a lot more hydrated and it feels a lot more nourished whenever I use the oil. Ah! Ah! So the eye creams again, I 
predominantly like to use the Kiehl's one. I will use this, like I said, occasionally, but this is more of like a morning time eye cream in my opinion, just because it helps with the puffiness. But this one, I like to use at night. It just gives me that extra hydration under the eyes and I feel like it works for day and night. So I really like the avocado eye cream. The last step in my nighttime routine is the Kiehl's Rosa Artica Lightweight Cream. Another product that I received for gratis, but it was funny, I actually received this and I was using my ultra facial cream that I'd gotten initially like right when I started with Kiehl's. I'd finished up with that one and so I was using this one during the day and at night because it doesn't have any SPF. So I was mixing in my SPF with it. Turns out, this one is just way too heavy for me to use during the day. When I started using it at night and I got my Ultra Facial Cream with SPF to use during the day, I feel like my skin really balanced out and it wasn't overly hydrated or um, breaking up my makeup or anything like that. Another product I kind of forgot to mention, I mentioned it in terms of how I use it with other products but I didn't actually talk about it, but it is the Shiseido Facial Cotton. and. I really like this cotton because it is honestly the softest cotton I've ever felt in my entire life. But the fact is it's not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I feel like you get a lot for the price because I thought it was going to be really expensive when I first got it and it's, I want to say 9 or $10 and you get 165 sheets. And the cool thing is whenever I'm using this, say I'm using it for eye makeup remover or if I'm using it for toner, I actually don't use the entire thing. I split it in half like this and it makes it go even longer than just the 165 that's already in there. You're basically getting double the amount and you can use this and it works just as effectively. Wanted to mention them. So the last category I'm gonna get into is masking and this is definitely something that I have really enjoyed doing for a long time but I haven't been good about doing for at least the past like year and a half two years. I buy a lot of masks and I maybe use one every like two or three weeks. When I started my whole life skincare regimen and I got really really serious about it I actually started introducing a mask every single day. That sounds excessive and it can be kind of a lot but the way that I look at it is each one does something different so it's just me adding a little bit more like nutrition into my skin but different types for every single day of the week. So I will do one that's maybe detoxifying on a Monday, but if I feel like it really dried out my skin the following day, I'll use the um, hydration mask. And if the next day I feel like my skin's a little bit too oily, then I'll use either like a clay mask or a radiance mask and try and get a little bit more brightness to my skin. So the first mask that I wanted to talk about is the Herbivore Moon Fruit Mask. And this one is just like, I bought it solely for Instagram purposes, I really love the color of it. It's like a gorgeous lavender periwinkle color and it smells like lavender too, which is awesome. It really hydrates the skin. I was reading the reviews with a friend on Sephora. <laughs> you can you can come say hi. <laughs> a lot of the reviews were saying that the moon fruit mask was just really like, what was it, greasy? It was like moldy, moldy, like all these like really disgusting words and it sounded absolutely like terrifying, but I asked for it for Christmas because I still wanted to try it. The review said that even though they had all these issues with it, like some people claimed it was really hydrating, some people said that it was really nourishing, and then some people said it smelled really good. So I was like, okay, why not? I can try it out. If I don't like it, I can always return it. I ended up loving this mask. I will say though that I did use it overnight once because I fell asleep with it on accident. And when you wake up, it looks like you basically left on like a charcoal mask all night. Your skin doesn't feel any extra hydrated, just from my opinion. I left this on one time for like 20 minutes and I rinsed it off and I felt like it was the same amount of hydration as leaving it on overnight. It's, it's a really, really good mask. So the next one is also hydration mask and it is the new Kiehl's Calendula and Aloe Soothing Hydration Mask. This is one that I got for gratis about a week ago, so again, haven't tried it out for that long, but I did use it twice in the past week and the nights that I used it, my makeup went on so much better the next morning, so I really, really love it for that reason. This is another one that you're not going to use overnight. It's meant to be put on the skin for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinsed off with warm water. So it's a really, really great mask. Um, when you do leave it on too long though, it can get a little sticky, which is why I feel like it's not meant to be an overnight mask. So the next mask is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask, and I feel like this one's really similar to the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Which is also a mask that I like to use, but I don't use it as often, just because it is more potent than this one. And it can sometimes really dry out my skin. And it really does detoxify your skin like no other. So sometimes when I don't want too much texture on my skin, I just want a really subtle detox. 
I like to use this one. It's just more gentle and doesn't leave my skin quite as dry as the Glam Glow Mask. Another one I really like for detoxing is the Dr. Jart Pore Minimalist Black Charcoal Sheet Mask. This one is one I got off of Sephora and it has a pack of six, I believe, and they just look like this. They're just like black sheet masks and the charcoal in it is really good for detoxifying and just really like regenerating the skin. So I feel like I only use these about once a week just because I'm not really a sheet mask person. Like I like them, but I'm the type of person that really likes the actual process of like painting on a mask. This one's also really good at detoxifying, but because it is a sheet mask, it's definitely not going to dry out your skin like using a clay mask would. The next two masks I wanted to talk about are both for brightness and radiance. The first one is the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. This one is one of the only masks that I feel like I see an instant difference in my skin right after I use it. I see that instant brightening effect and it's because of the turmeric in it. Turmeric has been used for a really, really long time for a lot of different properties. Um, brightening is definitely one of them. And um, being the fact that I'm Indian, we call it healthy, but turmeric is used in so many different types of food, types of beauty recipes and things like that for masks or for the hands or for anything like that. A lot of brides like to use it before their wedding because it really helps brighten the skin and gives them really nice fair skin. I also really like this mask for the fact that it has cranberry seed in it because not only does it give you that brightening effect, but when you go in to uh, rinse it with warm water, the cranberry seed helps exfoliate the skin. The next mask is from Fresh and it is the Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. This one is like my favorite smelling face mask of all time because it has 50% fruit in it and it has oranges, lemons, and clementines. And it smells, it smells like jam. It smells so good. This one is another one of those masks where you put it on and you activate it with warm water and you massage it into the skin, leave it on for about 10 minutes, and then you rinse it off and it is that instant brightening effect. I've never used masks that give me like an instant effect and so the fact that I found a couple of them that do it's kind of a big deal, and I really, really like just everything about that mask. Another one that I was mentioning, I used to use the Glam Glow one a lot. I don't use it quite as much, but another one from the same brand is the Power Mud Treatment. So the Power Mud Treatment is a really interesting concept because it is an exfoliating mask, but it goes on kind of more of like a mud clay consistency. It dries, and it looks like you have like a clay mask on. Then you go try it and rinse it with warm water, and it turns into an oil but it has little beads in it, so it scrubs and exfoliates the skin with oil so it doesn't strip your skin or make it too dry, but it like nourishes it with the oil. So it's a really, really good mask. And then the last couple of products that I wanted to mention are just kind of extras, but I wanted to throw it out there because it is kind of part of my routine. One is by Mario Badescu, and it is the drying lotion. This is not something that I use as frequently as I used to before, just because I used to break out a lot more before. But this one is really good for any spots if you kind of want them to decrease in size, if you want them to just not be as um, agitated. This is something that you can use to just sort of spot treat. You can use it at night. You'll notice that it's either decreased in size or that it's vanished, and I really like it for that reason. The way to go about using this product is there is sediment at the bottom and then there's alcohol on top. So you're going to take a Q-tip and dip it straight down and straight up. You're not going to mix the um, sediment with the alcohol whatsoever because it's supposed to be separated and you'll dip it, pull it out, and then you'll spot correct wherever you need to. This is a really really good product and even though I don't use it quite as frequently, whenever I do have just that like random pimple or random breakout or anything like that, I really feel like it helps my skin. And the last two products are for lips. I know like lips aren't always incorporated into skincare but for me I feel like this is something that really helps. 2016, I feel like I used more matte lipsticks than anything else for my lips, and it completely dried out my skin. It completely changed the texture of them. I feel like they got really dry, flaky, and I wasn't as good about exfoliating them, but towards the end of 2016, I feel like I started using more like lip scrubs, and my favorite one is actually from Bliss. I really like it for the reason that it feels like a balm on the lips, but it has the granules in it that help scrub and exfoliate the lips. It's really nice, it has like an almond sugar smell to it, so it just like smells incredible, and it's really easy to use. I only use it about twice a week, but it definitely helps with my lips, especially because I love wearing liquid lipsticks, but it can dry out my lips a lot. I like to use it with the Hourglass Lip Oil, and this is the number 28 lip oil. You know more about it than I do? Not really. 
You have to. <sighs> you came over. You're going to pop into my video. <laughs> so it has 28 essential oils in it. Mm-hmm. Um, all natural. It smells like honey. It tastes like honey. Use it at night. It's really, really good for hydration. Instant gratification from it. Um, but it also has three extra ingredients that help with volumizing, plumping, and also retaining moisture. Damn. It's also anti-aging. And it's antibacterial, right? 24 karat is antibacterial, yes. Yeah, so it has a gold-plated, like, applicator, and that one is antibacterial because it's 24 karat gold. So it's a really cool product. I'm actually going to put some on right now because I like it. Andrew actually works for Hourglass, which is why I had him explain it, but it is a really, really cool product. So that completes my skincare routine for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is definitely a lot of steps, and it seems a little overwhelming, but honestly, both my daytime and nighttime routine, aside from the mask, doesn't take me more than five minutes. So even though it looks like a lot of products, it really doesn't take up too much time. I really feel like... My skin has improved so much, and I've never felt this confident about my skin in, actually, ever. Ever. I feel like my makeup goes on better, but even if there's a day where I don't want to wear as much makeup, I'm not as self-conscious about my skin, that's a really, really good feeling. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any questions in terms of, like, Heels products or any products, for that matter, Feel free to leave a comment and um, everything will be listed below. I will also be linking my blog posts with it so you guys can get an in-depth description of each of the products along with a photo so you can see and kind of relate back to which products maybe you were interested in picking up. Also keep in mind that I do work at Nordstrom so if there's anything that you guys were interested in trying out, you can either come visit me or if you don't live nearby South Coast Plaza or you don't want to make the trip out. Just let me know if there's anything that you want to pick up. I can always have it shipped to you free of charge. I can throw in samples for you so you guys can try out different products. I would love to be able to do like a skincare consultation, but also to be that person that can recommend products or makeup or anything like that for you guys. So definitely come visit, and if not, then reach out to me, and I will hook you guys up with some really great products. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to all of my social handles and to this channel, and I will be back with some new videos very soon. Thank you. Bye. Oh.